quick shameless plug for my friends over at Chef Special at the intersection of Western and Palmer. They came out with these great shirts about a week ago. Also, if you haven't been yet, their food's amazing. They have an outdoor patio that you could sit at. So this weekend, check out Chef Special. Now, on to our video about cash offers, how to prepare for them, and why sellers prefer cash offers over loan contingency offers. One thing to remember is when you submit an offer with a loan contingency, the first thing that needs to lead off your offer is a valid pre-approval from a bank or from some type of financial institution. When you're a cash buyer, you need to still prove your financial liquidity to the seller to let them know that you're a legit buyer. We do this in one of two ways. The first is with a redacted bank statement and we redact it to protect the information of our buyer. The second way to do it is to make sure that we could put together what they call a proof of funds letter, which can be put together from an accountant, a banker at say Chase or Fifth Third, or maybe a financial planner. This shows that you have the money as a cash buyer to go ahead and purchase said property that you're interested in. So those are the two things that we like to attach with cash offers to prove how strong and legit our buyers are. When you put together a cash offer, what's the benefit for a seller? There's no loan process. There's no loan contingency, no appraisal. It can cut the time in half so the sellers can get their money quicker. So that's one of the benefits to an actual cash offer. Really cuts the closing time in half. When you're a buyer, when you go to the actual closing, you don't need to go. You can sign over power of attorney to your attorney because there's no loan documents that need to be signed. The attorney can go on your behalf to the title company and sign power of attorney for you and you can utilize what we call an email closing. So you don't even need to show up if you're a cash buyer. You could sign over that power of attorney. One thing I also wanna mention is when you're a cash buyer, you can split the escrow fees with the seller, saving the cash buyer between, let's say seven and $900 on the transaction. The last thing that I wanna plug in is, even though you're a cash buyer, it doesn't mean that you can offer $100,000 less on a property and get it. You still need to offer a fair market offer given the time. Yes, you can close in say two or three weeks as a cash buyer, but if it's a grossly under market value to the seller, the seller will just say, you know what, we'll wait for a loan contingency buyer and wait the 30 or 45 days for that individual. So you and your agent as the buyer need to look at what's a fair market value to take advantage of say this next three to four weeks to incentivize the seller to take your offer and not just wait for a regular, regular loan contingency offer. I hope this was helpful in preparing a cash offer and take care.